Welcome to the first video of our series to learn about LangGraph. In this video, we will start with a straightforward graph with two nodes and one edge connecting them together. LangGraph is a library and framework for building stateful multi-agent apps like Crew AI or Autogen, but with a more control over the flow. This help us build more reliable AI agents as we define the flow instead of hoping the agent will make the right decision. You can even combine LangGraph with other frameworks like Crew AI and create crews controlled by LangGraph. In the coming videos, we will develop this kind of hybrid frameworks. But for now, we will start with the first step, which is learning LangGraph's core components. First, we install and import the required packages. To ensure the package is loaded correctly, we check the version, which is 0.0.55 .0 as of this recording. Our graph has two nodes, which can be thought of as two functions or where the action takes place. In a node, you can, for example, use Python functions, call an LLM API, or connect to a database. Here, our first node is a simple function. This function gets the input and puts hello before it. One advantage of using Jupyter or Colab is that we can run each cell individually. So we can test our function to see if it works before using it as a node in a graph. And indeed, our first node works. Our second node takes an input and adds how are you after it. When we test the function representing our second node, it works too. Now we come to the main part. A graph is a collection of nodes and edges. So we initialize a graph and assign it to workflow. Then we add our two well-tested functions as nodes to our graph. To connect the nodes and make the relationship between them, we add an edge and define the output of node 1 to be passed directly to the second node. Now that we have defined our nodes and edges, we must define the graph's entry point and finish point. With this, our simple graph setup is completed and we can compile the graph. To run the graph, we invoke it and give it our input, in this case, John. The flow starts and hello comes before John in the first node. Our edge redirects the output of the first node, in this case, hello John, to the second node. Node 2 takes the input and adds how are you after it. In our case, hello John is the input to the second node and the output of the second node will be hello John, how are you? If we use invoke, we get the final output of the graph at once. However, in a more complex graph, we may want to understand the flow and debug the steps. So we can use the graph's streaming functionality and format the output to see the steps and their outputs in a more descriptive way. Sure enough, we will have the same result as invoke, but here we can see the output of each node. We also see which nodes are executed and in what order. Our graph works even without any LLM. This was a very simple graph without a loop or cycle. It is so-called DAG or Directed Acyclic Graph. The implementation could be done easily with LangChain Expression Language 2. In the coming videos, we will create more complex graphs with conditional edges and loops, where LangGraph will shine. Good luck learning LangGraph.